Hey, 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 hey. Hi, y'all. I'm here. So, I, uh, oh, dang, I forgot to turn on my do not disturb thing. So, sorry if it starts buffering or whatever, but I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Let me get... Okay. So guys, I wanted to make another video because I really have been um, slacking in that department because um, I've just been busy, surgery, this, that, everything all the time, all at the same time. So here's our ensemble today. Molly and Mindy, just gotta say hello real quick. Hi, how's it going? You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, had to get that out of the way. Um, so yeah, it is hot in Texas, y'all. It is hot, hot, hot. It is um, 83 degrees right now. So I've been trying to get into the holiday spirit. Normally I would have completed my um, Christmas shopping and stuff by now, but yeah, I have not done anything. So I'm um, a little mad at myself, but it's too warm. It's just too warm. And um, yeah, so that's where, that's where I am now. So who's ready? You guys ready? I wanted to make this video uh, to speak to the ladies on my channel who are working, which I know is a, ma a majority of you all. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. No shade, as they say. I want you to understand that um, I want to speak to you ladies specifically because I understand that um, a big portion of my audience is, um, working, you know, and you guys are trying to get to where you, um, hey y'all, oh, excuse me, don't let me have, you guys are trying to get to the point where you don't have to work. So, um, y'all, I'm going to have to, uh, well, no, I'm not, I think I'll be okay. Hopefully the video is still working and everything like that, but um, there you go. Because I keep getting alerts, 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 so sorry about that. Um, but anyway, a majority of you all are working, so I wanted to speak to you all because um, somebody had made mention, okay, well, you know, I have to work right now, or what if we're working, what do we do, how do we handle it, how do we transition, yada, yada, yada. So... We're going to start a working lady series, a working woman series, but we're going to do it. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you snippets and little pieces because a majority of this stuff will be covered at the conference. So, um, you know, I can't give away all the goodies, but I just wanted to talk to you all. A um, little encouragement, kind of help you out, you know, stuff like that. So business, let's get that out of the way. Um, there. What? Hey, Molly and Mandy. Or Molly and Mindy. Y'all tripping Molly and Mindy. Yay. Thank you, LA. Girls, y'all got $5 a piece. <laughs> Yay. The girls say thank you. Thank you so much, LA, for that generous donation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Business. Let's get to business. We are... Um, getting closer to the conference time. And um, it is like really looming near. So I have uh, been, man, y'all, I have been working so hard on this. Oh, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not nervous. I'm just really, really excited to meet you all. I'm really excited to give you guys some content that you can use, maybe some stuff that's new, uh, hopefully not a lot of stuff that you've heard before. Um, and just kind of have fun with it and um, 
welcome you all here and just, um, you know, I hope it's a really good time for everybody. So I've been really working hard on that. So um, hopefully there won't be a very, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> hopefully there won't be a huge, large crowd so that we'll be able to make it more intimate. We'll be able to do more one-on-one -on -one consultations and um, I'll be able to be hands-on with more of you if it is a smaller group. So, um, so far so good. There's only about like 50 or so um, signed up now. So hopefully it stays that way, uh, but we do still have five months. So if you have not gotten a ticket, you can DM me, you can um, send me emails, messages, things like that, and I will uh, get back to you with information about the conference. Um, also, consultations are always available. Um, I, at this point, I'm running like two weeks out because um, so many people, of course, have signed up since, I guess y'all was waiting while I was sick, so, or while I was down. So we're about two weeks out on consultations, um, and so we'll get that back going and everything like that. So, Working Woman Series, this is for you ladies. Um, being a working woman, um, no, it will not be live streamed because I will be doing some freestyling. I will be uh, saying some things that will possibly incriminate me <laughs> and could be uh, harmful to me in my impending divorce. So, um, no, I won't be able to live stream that. There, You will have to be present in order to uh, take advantage of the offerings at the conference. So, um, working ladies, working women. Um... First of all, I want to say that I think um, that working and being um, having to work is not a bad thing. I understand everybody has to make a living. You know, we got to eat. We got to feed children. We got to pay for school pictures three and four times a year. We have to do, you know, ballet and baseball and all that. So there are expenses. And if you don't have a man in your life, you've never had a man in your life, somebody has to pay for that. And of course, that means you have to work. I get it. Totally, totally get it. But I think that the problem comes in where you are so used to being independent, where you're so used to taking care of yourself and doing it all and being all of everything that you don't leave any space or any room for a man to come in and to take over that role. Um, a lot of you guys did not have father figures. If you did have father figures, they were not uh, providers. So you don't really, you haven't really seen examples of that. So it's hard for you. So I would say that the first step in um, transitioning from being a working woman to being a kept woman is to first uh, get your mind thinking that way. So, um, and like I said, I'm only going to give you a little bit because you got to come hear me to get all of it. But the first, like the first thing that I would do if I was transitioning is to, like I always say, watch examples of kept women on TV. Now, I know that like uh, housewives of blah, 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 whatever is super ghetto and ratchet, but you get an idea of the mentality of these women. You get an idea of the things that they like, the places they go, uh, people they hang around. You get an idea of this when you um, watch TV shows that um, that embody the people or the position that you want to be in. So concentrating on, well, what do what do I want my life to look like? And looking only looking at images of that, only viewing images of that, and concentrating on the life that you're wanting to create for yourself will help you when you're transitioning from being a working woman into being a kept woman. Being a kept woman is very different, very, very different than being a working woman. And I know because I've worked for um, a lot of my adult life and I always uh, was the mentality, well, we're going to build together, you know, you going to do your part and I'm going to do my part and we're going to do this thing together. You know, that was always my mentality. So I went to the best schools. I got the best grades. I studied, 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 got the best jobs, wanted to, I was fighting for positions. I always wanted to be uh, 
if I'm in a position, I want to get the supervisor position. Once I got the supervisor position, then I want to be in corp in the corporate arena. And, I, you know, I wanted to go up and up and up because I'm the boss, right? So I was always um, in that mode, always uh, wanting to be a top earner. And I normally was, you know, so, um, but that came with a lot of responsibility. I was not able to uh, participate in my son's life, really. I wasn't able to uh, sign him up for different sports and different activities that he wanted to do because I was always working. I was always working. So I uh, made a conscious decision that I did not want to live my life like that. And I did not want my son to have a mother who was always working. So I, um, you know, I kind of revamped my thinking and went back to my old ways because as a younger woman, as a um, like teen coming into my adulthood woman, I was always the kept girlfriend. Always, always, always. I never had to do um, anything that was too hard. None of that. You know, so I was like, I need to get back to doing what I was doing before because that was working for me. So then, you know, hence here we are now. So um, that's the first thing that I would do is I would try to not try. <clears throat> I would get my mind into the uh, framework that I want to be a kept woman. Then do things that um, will draw that to you. You know, um, make sure that you're you always look nice. Make sure you're not rushing when you're going places. This is a major, major, major key. Make sure you're not rushing. A kept woman doesn't rush and do anything. She can take her time because she doesn't have anywhere to go, you know? Um, so if you um, have a watch, having a watch is a very, very, very masculine thing. Um, and I know, you know, a lot of you all are into jewelry and things like that. But the idea of a watch means I have to, hey, Miss Moderator, the idea of a watch is I have to get there. I have to be there. I have to, ooh, 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 I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. Chill out. If you're late, you're late. Um, leave early. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time. Um, don't, don't be so in a rush that you can't see what's going on around you. You may have walked right past your husband but you so busy rushing to the next thing you're so busy uh trying to do this and do that and you know take care of everything and, and juggle all these balls that you don't even have time to um you don't even have time to uh look around you to see who's seeing you and things like that slow down slow down chill out um do you think it is wrong to tell a wealthy man about gender roles that you believe a woman should be a housewife, I'm guilty of that every time. Yes, you don't tell somebody um, that you're gonna rob them, you just rob them. You know, you don't, you don't tell people your intentions. Don't tell them um, the way that you're, you're thinking. Don't let him into your mind. The goal is to get into his mind. Once you figure out where his mind is at, you keep him or you dump him. Simple as that. If he, if his thoughts are in a line with your thoughts, he's a keeper. If his thoughts are differing from yours, then you can him and start all over. Um, you know, the uh, a lot of women make the mistake of talking too much. Talking too much. You're giving away the game before the game is even started. So you, blah, 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 I believe this and I think that and I want kids and how many you want it? I want four. Do you want four? I want a girl and a little boy and I want to wear this and they gonna go to this school and we gonna chill chill you some of you may not have a lot of time some of you may feel rushed you want to have a baby you're coming up on 40 and you're like look i gotta get this thing going it's cool that you have a sense of urgency in your life but chill out you didn't waited this long why did what the hell's a few more days or a few more weeks chill out you know don't be so pressed well i want this is that what you want because i'm trying to have a baby i got about two more years and you know hey i'm trying to get to it you you trying to be a daddy? Don't, don't come with that energy. Be easy. Be light. Be, you know, easy. Um, thank you. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. So um, change your energy. Change your energy would be my second point. Um, don't be rushing everywhere. Don't be, oh, I got to get, got to get, got to get, got to get, got to have, got to have, got to have. 
chill out, you know, um, and you'll start to attract those things to you. Somebody said, make sure your income is stable. Yes, of course, you need to make sure that your income is, um, that you have money to pay your bills. Definitely, you definitely need to make sure you have money to pay your bills. I'm not saying go out here, quit your job tomorrow, and you know, sit at the house and wait on the man to come to you. Even though if I was in you guys' position and I said I wanted to be a kept woman, I'm not going to work. That's me, that's just me. Because I know that I will do any and everything to make sure that I'm stable, that I'm taken care of, that my children are safe. I know that even if I'm not at this job, I know an alternative way to get to the money, to get to the bag. So. That's what I would do. You know, making sure that your income is stable is a very wise thing to do, but you need to figure out how you want to do it. You don't necessarily have to do it from your job. You can get money several different ways. Start picking up, you know, <laughs> children at schools, after school care. That's a lot of income that you could have. Um, making plates for people or, you know, any, you can make up a job. Go to a wealthy neighborhood and start walking some dogs or walking lizards. Hey! Hey, Miss Moisture. How you doing, Miss Moisture? How you doing, girl? Her name is just so, you got to say it like that. Miss Moisture. Hey, girl, how you doing? I mean, seriously. You can walk lizards. You can go, you know sell guppies, I don't know, you know, but there's a number of different ways to make money besides going to work, besides clocking in. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, you guys. Um, you can make money and not go to work. Somebody need to write that down. You can make money in your sleep. You can do it all day long. I do it all day long. I do my, the money that I make in my sleep comes from real estate, you know, easy money, easy, easy money. At this point, it's easy. It was not easy getting to this point, but you understand what I'm saying. So um, weigh your options, figure out what you really, really, really want to do, and then create a plan. What did I say? Create a plan, attach it to your goals, and there you go. Then you can be successful. So, um, just make sure that you're clear about what you want. Make sure that you're clear about what you want. Make sure you know what you want. Make sure that um, that you don't you don't like. Because I talk to a lot of women. Okay, clearly you guys know this. I talk to a lot of women, and a lot of women are like, "Well, I want a sugar daddy so he can help me start this business." That's not being a kept woman at all. You want a man so that you can um, become a better man, basically. You want a man so that you can become a better man. And that's not, that's still being very masculine and you're still going to have a hard time um, getting a man when your energy is that way. So um, think about that. Think about that. Somebody said, Mickey, do you flip and sell homes or do you or do or you do rental homes? I do both. Actually, I do both. So um, don't get a man to help you be a better man. Be get a man so that he can compliment you as a woman and you stand in your womanhood and do that properly. Do that properly. Um So yeah, so yeah, um, think about that though. Think about that. I know a lot of you have been working for a very long time, but let me, let me explain to you something about a job, something about working for somebody else. You are basically using your labor, or you're allowing someone else to become wealthy off of your labor. The owners of the company that you work for, the uh, the big wigs, the big bosses, as, as we used to call them, they are wealthy because of the work you're doing. Him and his wife are probably vacationing somewhere right now. They are in China, Thailand. They're on the other side of the world, 
you know, riding elephants and, and scratching baby tigers in the belly and, you know, walking around with monkeys on their shoulders on vacation while you at their job working. So you are allowed, you are using your life, your energy, your uh, strength, your everything. Just had to get the girls in the picture again. Sorry. <laughs> Got to get them. So let's have a talk like this. Okay. Let's just talk like this. So you're using your energy and your space and your time and your efforts to make somebody else rich. Why? You, this is your life. You and I are existing in this space together, right? So you're in, you know, Brazil or you're in uh, North Carolina or Georgia or Texas or wherever you are. You are wherever you are. And I'm here. We're existing in this thing together, right? So since that's the case, how am I able to do what I'm doing, but you have to go to work? There's nothing that is so special about me. There's nothing that I've done to deserve this. There's nothing that I've done that uh, makes me more worthy than you. You know, you... Um, can have the same opportunities that I have. You just have to make sure that you are um, that you are creating a plan that you're strategic about it and attaching it to your goals. So there's there's um, basically what I'm saying is uh, I'm no different than you. I'm no different than you. Hey, hey, we're just chit chatting with Molly and, and Mandy today. No. So um, I'm no different than you guys. So if I was able to quit, literally quit my job in 30 days, I said, look, I'm not going back. It just is what it is. Then there's a way for you to do it, too. You just have to figure out how to do it and how it works for your specific life. Yay. Thank you, Scorpio cutie. Thank you. <laughs> Mini shark. Mini shark. Thank you. Thanks for that. So you just have to figure out how it works for you. You know, um, I don't know why. Sorry, I'm getting all kind of alerts. So I know I'm probably buffering, but sorry, guys. But no, um, keep in mind that there is always a way to make it happen. There's always a way for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. So you want to create the space in your life to say, okay, I know I don't want to work anymore. I'm sick of working. So... I need to lose weight, play in this makeup, get me some wigs, uh, get sexy, go out and get me a man, you know, or whatever your plan is. But if you want to be a kept woman, those are pretty much the things that all of us have to do. You know, even the women who are kept at this point are still working on their looks. They're still working on their weight. It just never stops. Just like instead of making that your job, wherever you are, if you work for Verizon, if you work for the you know, I, I don't know, the zoo or wherever people work. If you uh, work for whatever company you work for, BP or whoever, instead of going there to work, why not create your own source of income? Why not get another source of income where you have more freedom? You can still work for somebody else, but why not work from home? Switch jobs. You don't have to stay loyal to one specific company your whole entire life. Let me tell you what that's going to get you. I know several people who have worked for companies for years, 20, 30 years plus. Something happens, a sickness, a, a death in the family, something like that, and they're no longer able to work. And the company says, you're done. See ya. If you're not able to give me what I need from you, then I'm not going to um, be loyal to you. I'm going to replace you. So since that's the case, since you know that you are disposable, why would you put all your heart, your soul, your time, your energy into a place that is not that loyal to you? That job is not that loyal to you. Do you think your boss is rushing to get there to see about you, to see how you're doing? Do you think your boss is, uh, you know, oh, well, let me call Mickey and see how she doing. Uh, let me let me make sure. Um, you know, she all right. Let me check on her and, and the children and stuff like that. No. No. He's not. His boss isn't doing that for you. 
the, their boss's boss's boss is not doing that for you. So why are you breaking your neck, spending all your good years wasting the pretty at a job where people are not even, you can't get those years back. The years that you are spending at this job are wasted, wasted years. You could be traveling, you could be creating a scrapbooking business, you could be, you know, having some good trampoline time with somebody, you could be doing any number of things while you are trying to uh, be loyal to this job because, oh, I gotta get some money, I gotta get some money. You can get money. Money is always available. Money is just energy. If you walk around with a poor mentality and you say things like, well, I got to work. Well, I can't because I, you know, what about this? Well, my car payment. Well, what, who going to pay this and who going to pay that? Damn that car. Honestly, honestly, we're all driving cars that we, we may not. Well, all of us could get a better car. You know, I don't know anybody that's driving around in a Rolls Royce or something like that. So we can always stand to get a better car. You're being loyal to your job to keep a Honda. To keep a little Honda Civic. You breaking your neck going to that job every single day. <laughs> For what? For a Honda. For a Honda. Okay. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. And I speak to women over and over and over and over and all day. And I'm like, girl, you are playing the game. You are doing this totally backwards. Well, I'm gonna work hard and then I'm gonna, you know, to level up so that I can get a man so that I can <sighs> doing it backwards. So I wanted to make this video to let you know um, that you don't have to go to work to get money. You don't have to um, be loyal to a job that is not going to be loyal to you. You don't have to uh, break your neck and break your back. Okay, hold on. C. Kelp says, but if money is the motive, don't you think that double income household is better? This is why women working is encouraged in my family. Heck no. Of course it is. Since a double income is better, then he needs to go into business with somebody who's making just as much as him. Not you. You should not be the other half of the income. Your job, I explained this on um, my video, your job is to be lazy. Women have a hard enough job as it is being a woman. Being a woman is totally enough. Your eggs are, you know, producing and reproducing your... Uh, you know, your, your breasts are growing and changing and doing this. And, you know, the, the physiology of a woman is so complicated and so complex that you are, you, you, you can't possibly go to a job, work 8, 10, 12 hours a day, then come home, be a functional woman, mother, whatever, and still think you're supposed to thrive and have a complete whole life. It's impossible to do that. I'm sorry. It's impossible. That's why there's so many women who are um, depressed. So many women who, you know, are overly emotional, highly reactive, combative, and all of this stuff because you're stressed. You're, you're working like a man when you're supposed to be a woman. And I understand there are people who are confused about their gender and, you know, they, they are... I don't know, boys and trapped in another person's body or something like that, you know. So I'm not speaking to those people. I'm speaking to people who um, are physio physiologically um, intact and have some sort of normalcy in the brain, you know, without chemical imbalances and stuff like that. So um, if that's the case, you need to reevaluate what you're doing with your life because every single day, is a day that is gone. You are going to see November the 5th, 2019, but you will never see November the 5th, 2018 ever again. Ever, 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 ever again. Right now it is, we have 12 more hours in this day. 12. A lot of you are gonna spend the next four 
five and six hours of this day at a job. A lot of you. That is over half the day gone. So you're giving your time, your energy, yourself, your person, your peace, your uh, love, your passion. You're giving all of that to an entity, to a an idea that is somebody else's. You're building somebody else's dreams while yours are just, you know, going by the wayside. It's not, it's not, uh, it's counterproductive to do that. And then you wonder why you sad. You wonder why a Geico commercial come on with the little lizard and you crying uncontrollably. It ain't about the lizard. You're probably upset about something totally different. You can't keep your emotions in check. Somebody say something to you, you, you're jumping all crazy and going off on people. And, you know, you can't be calm. And you, you it's just because you're working too hard. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. But even rich men, but even rich men, independent working woman, because they think carrier woman is a status symbol. Um, I think that's an incomplete thought. Sorry. Um, but you guys understand what I'm saying. You know. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll open for questions. Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. You know, you transition by getting your mind in the, uh, in the mind frame of, okay, I'm, I know I'm working now, but I'm going to have a plan. I'm going to start planning to be a kept woman. So I'm going to do A, B, C, and D to get myself there. And there you have it. Okay. Let's put the girls back in the frame. Any questions? Ooh, that hurt. Any question? What's an okay allowance for from a sugar daddy that depends on you and your lifestyle? Put the question mark in front of. I know. You know why I'm talking about lizards, y'all? Y'all know I have three boys, right? You guys know I have three boys. So yesterday we were going to, um, where did we go yesterday? Um, I, oh, I took the boys to uh, breakfast. So they were playing outside, you know, before it was time to go. Cause you know, mama got to get her makeup and stuff done. So um, I hear <laughs> screaming, 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 you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? And I go look. And my middle son has a lizard like this. <laughs> and it's just wiggling. You know, it's just wiggling and licking a tongue and flicking a little tail. And the baby was like, I want to hold it. So then the baby started holding it. It was a whole big thing and we were laughing. It was so funny. So <laughs> that's why we're talking about lizards today. Because I got lizard on the brain. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Do you I don't know the... Sorry. Thank you, Kiki. Yay. Thanks. Thank you so much for that donation. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Ooh, magic number. Okay. Um, what is A, B, C, and D to become a kept woman? That will be discussed at the conference, madam. Yep, you gotta come hear me for that one. Um Good question, though. Very good question. What places do women wanting to be a kept woman? Everywhere. You have to have your look together in order to be a kept woman. So everywhere. Um, the place is not the, uh, the key. Your look and are you attractive is what will get you um, to be a kept woman. Are carrier women... A status symbol or housewife yes yes so housewives are a status symbol to a man of means they take pride in the fact that oh I can take care of my children um, I can you know um, you know do things like that so um, yes having a housewife is a status symbol there is not one woman on my street who works not a one or in my uh, subdivision I don't not that I know of and, um, you know, we just had Halloween and people have parties and stuff like that. And so far, I have not met one woman, not one, in all of the houses that I live in that, or that, that are near me that works. Not one. So, yes, it is definitely 
a status symbol in a wealthy community. Yep. Um, I think she means even rich men. Oh, oh okay. Um, how do I get my teeth so white? I go to the dentist every three months and I get my teeth cleaned and um, whitened every other year. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't know what lizards are. Do you think rich men prefer skinny women? Yes, ma'am, they do. Uh, what time is a good time to freestyle? Again, there is no, like, okay, think about it. Wealthy, like I said in, in one of my other videos, wealthy men don't get together in your city and say, hey, Jim, Alex, uh, Robert, we're all going to Home Depot at four o'clock. You wanna go? We're gonna catch us some women. It doesn't happen like that. So the time of day doesn't matter. The, the uh, location and all of that doesn't matter. What matters is, are you in wealthy areas and are you, um, you know, attractive to them, basically. Um, the conference is in Texas and it is March the 22nd through the 24th, 2019. Thank you. Um, oh Lord, y'all have a lot of questions. How long it takes to create a situation to ask for money? Um, you quit your job too. Now the sugar daddies are not enough. And I'm like, what have I done? That's why I tell them from the beginning, I'm not working. So he won't say I lied. Um, you're in a good position. You're in a good position. Um, so, you know, I would keep that same energy and what you want will be attracted to you because there, now there's a space for a man now that you are not the uh, breadwinner. So I think you're in a good position. Do you believe that a woman must be skinny to secure a wealthy man? Think about it. All the wealthy men you see, do you see any of them with fat ladies? I'll wait. Have you ever seen a wealthy man with a thick woman? Always. Just saying. Do they prefer big boobs? That depends on the man. Do you believe that a woman, oh, I'm sorry. How do I seduce my boss and get his money and perks at work? Look sexy. Always ask for help. Always, um, you know, make sure, oh, I need help. Can you help me? Can you help me? Always be uh, needy for him, no one else. Um, always be in his face. <laughs> ask me how I know that one. <laughs> how much is the admission for the concert? Oh, the conference. Um, information about the conference is uh, in the description bar below. So if you'd like that information, please send me a email, instant message or something like that and I would be happy to help you with those questions. Um, Uh-oh. Right? <laughs> they are. I agree, Miss Misha. How do I... How do you get a wealthy man to want a baby? You don't, men don't want babies. Men are not supposed to want babies. They are men. Men want money, men want status, men want clout, men want street cred. Men want things like that. Men do not want babies. He doesn't have to want a baby to get a baby. He wants some pee pee, don't he? There you go. So you get him to, um, Girl, that's an easy question. He don't have to want a baby to get one. I'll just say that. Um, are the best days, who keeps, why do y'all keep asking the same question? Didn't I just say there's not a specific day that these wealthy people get together and say, oh, we're gonna go out on Tuesday? There's not a specific day to go out. What kind of, think about that logically. Please think logically. How am I able to tell you what day, go out on Thursday and you're going to get a sugar daddy? Does that even sound like it makes sense? 
Do y'all think about these questions before you ask them? <laughs> I mean, good grief. Um, you just got $2,000 from your new sugar daddy. Hey, how do I keep putting him off as to not get intimate with him? Don't go out at night. Don't be uh, going to people's houses and hotel rooms and going out of town with him and just, um, yeah, just, uh, just keep it, keep it, um, friendly during the day. PPs don't get to wiggling too often during the day, but they do at night. So, um, right. I mean, it's like people expect me to say, oh, go. yep. Tuesday at 2.35. Like, how am I going to be able to predict that? I don't know. Um, Drake didn't want a baby. There you go. Chris Brown didn't even know he had a baby. Y'all better, <clears throat> y'all better listen. Most men don't want a baby. My husband didn't want a baby. I don't know any man. Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. They're older. Some older men want babies. Um, but the... Um, most young men, viral men, do not want babies. Just saying. Um, and if they do, it's because, oh, you know, my dad wasn't there and I want to be a father and, you know, whatever. But a lot of men don't want babies. They think of babies as a hindrance, as another bill, as, oh, I got a baby, you know. Um, but once they're here, you know, there you go. Um, in the process of losing weight, would you wait to level up? I didn't. I didn't. I was thick. I was thick like cornbread, thick like cornbread, um, and I was still getting to the bag, honey. So I, why would you wait? You don't have time to wait. That's the whole point of this video. There is no time to wait. What if you don't lose weight? How about that? What if you don't lose weight? What if you get to seeing them Twinkies in the pantry and you get weak and start eating? Uh, so I can't get a sugar daddy again. What if you, you know, you see, you don't have time to cook one day and so you go get some uh, tacos or something instead of juicing and making your meal like you've always been doing. Then what you gonna do? So you gonna wait till you get skinny? What if you never get skinny? Girl, you better get to get in the bag now. Go after who wants you. If you fat, get you a real old man. A super old man that wants some company. Get you somebody ugly. Get you, uh, you know, somebody that wants you. Stay in your playing ground and you'll be okay. Um, just saying. Don't wait. You don't, don't, Nobody has time to wait. I'm not waiting on nothing. If I want something, I want it today. I want it immediately. Immediately. So, um, there you go. Get to it. Why do the men I meet keep pretending to want children? Then they dusty in disguise. Do they think I want that? Yes, men know that all women or most women want children. So they're going to tell you what they think you want to hear. Yep. Do y'all recommend a baby with a wealthy man that's double your age to keep him? Won't it scare him away? Who gives a damn? You don't want the man. You want the money. A baby is the fastest, quickest, easiest way to secure the bag. If I meet a billionaire, listen, if I meet a billionaire tomorrow, I'm pregnant. I'm pre Here come number four. Mm, I'm pregnant. Y'all, we gonna have a baby. Who? Who not? Y'all stupid. If I meet a millionaire, he bed not say he want to have some sex with me. You do. <laughs> Trampoline, ear, ear, trampoline, ear, who? Yes, surely am. Of course, that's the whole objective. If you have a baby with a wealthy man, ain't that the song? Have a baby by me, baby, and be a millionaire. Who? That's a secure check. Who gives a darn about the man? I could care less about him or the PP. We gonna holler. I'm finna have this baby though, oops. Oh my God, can you believe I just found out I'm pregnant and I'm 24 weeks. Oh, I'm 24 weeks. Too late, pimping. Ain't no getting on the table with this one. She coming through. Girl, give me my bag right quick. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all crazy. She would say, y'all too nice. Y'all super too nice. What you, girl, any means necessary. I'm getting to the bag, for sure. Do you believe in making a sugar daddy fall in love to keep him? No, men don't fall in love. Forget all that love crap. Nope. Don't make him fall in love. Mm -mm. I seen somebody said a comment, uh, Shira won't answer my question, so maybe you will. Alcoholic hair. Girl, listen. <laughs> she probably won't answer your question because it's not her video. But let me answer it. Um, when is the best indication or time frame or dollar amount to know it beneficial to be intimate with an SD? Now I see why she didn't answer. Okay, so she said, when is the best time, dollar amount, to know when um, you want to have sex with a sugar daddy? Make sure he's heavily invested in you, whatever that means for you. For me, it's a dollar amount. And then I start considering. Once I start considering, oh, I might need to give him some PB because he, you know, if I want to keep him around, then, you know, you do what you got to do. But that's a whole... That's a whole, whole stream of videos I could do on that one topic. On that one topic. I could do, I don't know how many videos um, on that one topic. So, yeah. Ooh, I'm like Aphrodite. Whoa. Get into that. Thank you. That's a great compliment. This girl said... <laughs> I really hope this is a man. Is this a man? Blair Breezy says to keep my Chevy. I'm really stressing at work. <laughs> These comments just, <sighs> you stressing because of a Chevy, not even a Honda. Baby, 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 listen here, listen here. I know I'm getting a little country, but God darn, you stressing over an American car? I mean, can we up it a little bit? Can you stress over a Beamer? Let's stress over a Benzo. Let's stress over some, you know, a Tesla. You stressing over a Chevy? Who is stressing over a Chevy? I mean, is it is it a Camaro at least? Like... Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know why they care about the man's feelings. I, he don't care about your feelings. I really don't know. I really don't know why y'all are caring about their feelings because they certainly 100% don't care about yours. Period. You know? So, I, I don't know. If you have sex with him today, you will be in a better position tomorrow. Example, if your bills are piling up, will having sex with him take care of all those bills plus more? No. Thank you, Cammie. No. No, no. Uh, soccer queen. Soccer queen. If you give the PP away, your bill's going to stay unpaid and you're going to still have to be at work tomorrow. Why would you do that? <laughs> Said a Corvette. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, no, no. You don't give up the PP at all. Um, do I think Audis are masculine vehicles? Um, some of them. It just depends. Um, it just depends. She said, okay, thanks, because I've held out and you just don't want to slip up in the home stretch due to ignorance when you can just say, very good. Well, thank you for asking, alcoholic hair. Yes, girl, don't slip up. Do not slip up at all. Hold that thing, baby. Hold it. Hold it, hold it. Um. Okay, let me see. Is there any specific help scenarios I can ask of to a POT? That's another video too. Um, you're only 20. But if I meet a rich man, I'm gonna be mama real quick. <laughs> yeah. 
So a POT tried to be slick and go through your phone and got his feelings hurt. Now he's not answering. Why are you calling? Bernicia, why are you calling him? He should be calling you. If he got his feelings hurt, then you could be like, I mean, I didn't know we were exclusive. Why are you going through my phone? I don't go through your phone. That's what happened. When you look for certain stuff, you might find it. Don't do that next time. You might be all right. Easy fix. <laughs> there you go. That's happened to me too. Um, not recently, but um, somebody went through my phone and got, man, feelings just slammed. And I was like, oops, oh well, you're bad. Whatever. Um, don't women also have to work on getting men to approach them? I remember you said you have to fall. You have to fall on the group to get a man to come and help you. Oh, on the ground. I didn't say I had to fall on the ground. I said I have fallen on the ground, but, um, I have not, um, I have not done that recently, but I will. <laughs> I'm not above it. Um, you do need to work on being attractive. Exactly. Yeah. Um, is it a good idea to ask a sugar daddy? No, I'm not even answering. Um, Mickey, you have many POTs. Why are you not prego yet? Why are you, why are you playing? For real? For real. Now you laughing. Girl, do you see this little boy? I just got off the titty. I just got one off the titty. And I'm married. What makes you think I'm finna mess up my bag, my alimony, getting pregnant by somebody else? Now you got to know I'm not that stupid. Girl, why ain't I pregnant? Why you ain't pregnant? I would get pregnant for a billionaire, but I haven't met a billionaire. I haven't met a billionaire. And I'm not going to get pregnant for a billionaire. <sighs> Girl, there's levels to this. I'll just say that. There are levels to this. You can't just... That's for another day. Yeah, but no, I'm not... My, my, my. All this time you knew me, or you have known me. Yeah, I know some millionaires, but I don't know a billionaire. I had one lady uh, in my DMs, um, I'm ready to marry a billionaire. I'm, you know, I'm already there. I got, you know, hair and makeup. I got everything together. And I'm like, so why you need to talk to me? If you got everything together, you certainly don't need to talk to me. Girl, look. <laughs> Okay, are there any date ideas that you decline? Yes, Miss Ebree. I am not ever going on a date outside. Unless it's like parasailing in Fiji. Unless it's like being under the waterfall and being all glistening over my body and, you know, letting the water fall on me and stuff like that in Fiji in Hawaii or something like that, that's the only time I'm gonna be outside. I'm never gonna go on a date outside. I don't do sporting events, I don't do dirty stuff. I'll be on a yacht, exactly, but I'm not gonna be, if I'm on a yacht, I might be inside of it. I'm not gonna be outside sweating. I don't care if I'm on a yacht. Y'all just do not know, I hate sweat. Sweat is like, death to me like kryptonite like the gremlins when they have water if i start sweating it's over it's a wrap all activities have to stop because there's i'm not doing that <laughs> how you know your phone was tapped what um would it be risky to have a sugar daddy as a neighbor yeah why would you do that why would you have your sugar daddy as your neighbor I mean, you're going to be getting on the trampoline if you're doing all that. He's going to come steal the cookie, girl. No, ma'am. 
Thank you. Y'all like the bangs? Y'all like the bangs? Thanks. Um, you just love my channel. I always make your day when I go live. Aw. Thank you. That's sweet. That's sweet. Thank you. Um, you got asked to go to the zoo. And then he said bowling. See, I'm not doing that either. Nope. I'm not doing bowling. Not doing the zoo. We're not, why would you want to take me on a date you can take a child on? No. Get some green marble sweat setting spray. It's sweat proof. No, it's not just my makeup. It's the idea of being outside. I do not like to be hot at all. I, I'm not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm not being hot at all. I'm sorry. No, no. You can't deal with some of these questions. <laughs> Imagine how I feel, CFAB, trying to still smile through some of the dumbest questions you've ever heard. I got a smile, though. Is happy hour a good place to freestyle? No. Yay! Miss Gal Costa. Five, five dollar foot longs. Five dollars. Five dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. You don't mind sweating if you're at Disney? Yeah, I do. Even though my name is Mickey, I'm not even going to see Mickey if I'm sweating. I'll see Mickey on a Disney cruise inside, but we, I'm not finna go, mm -mm. I can't be hot like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, would you recommend getting a hobby to freestyle? Um, yeah, like charity events and stuff like that. Yep, I surely would. I definitely would do that. Yay, thank you for answering my question, Miss Gal Costa. Thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate you. Um, as you help me, I get more from my sugar daddy, and you will get more money. Aw, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Disney Resort, yeah, but I'm not going outside, period. Period. I'm not going outside. I'm going to tell you why. If you ever go outside with a man, if a man ever sees you, um, if you ever go outside with a man, if a man ever sees you dirty and sweaty and, um, you know, tackling certain tasks and climbing up walls and, you know, digging in the ground and doing stuff like that. If a man ever sees you doing that, your chances of ever becoming a kept woman get slammed down to like about this right here you see this little hole right here let me show you see that little hole it gets slammed down to about right there when you start doing all that that's why i don't do it because i'm a diva i'm all i i mm -mm. you have to take care of me i'm not getting dirty there's liz even though i really like doing that stuff i like um well i don't like being outside let me stop lying <laughs> No, I don't. Sitting up here lying. I'm not finna lie for YouTube. But um, I, I, I will be outside like in the evenings and read a book and certain stuff like that. I'll do that. But what I'm not going to do is participate in activities where he can see me as anything but a kept woman. Anything but a princess, a diva. No. Because when you do that, then... He's like, well, if you up here climbing the walls, you certainly can pay your own dang on bills. And I can't. No. There you go. Um, you're just coming onto the live. Can I do a 10 second recap? Um, sure. I'll do a 10 sec second recap as soon as the video is over. Thanks. Nope, not going to amusement parks either. Heck no. Uh-uh. You have an invite to a private golf club in your neighborhood. Should you go? Yes, ma'am. Go and don't play golf. Be the cutest one there. Absolutely. Is it okay if you like grown-up dates and kid dates? Yes, but you won't be a kept woman. You have to set the standard in the beginning. You can go on a kid date after you get married, after you secure the bag, after you get pregnant. Don't be going on kid dates before the bag is secure. You're never going to secure the bag. How often do you have to initiate men approaching you? 
I don't. Men always approach just because, just because you look good. I don't initiate it. You know what initiates it? Hey, can you help me find um, the ham? I need a really big piece of ham. What about ribs? I need a real big rib. Can you help me? There you go. Ooh, these golf clubs are so big. Wow. How do you lift all that? They're so heavy and thick. Ooh, there you go. That's it, boo. Right, I don't know Noelle's life. They want to go outside so bad, sweating and stinking. Who wants to do that? Ugh, no, 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 no. Um, what are some good date ideas besides dinner? What are kid dates? Kid dates are like Chuck E. Cheese and movies and um, rock climbing and amusement parks. And those are kid dates. Um, You love my Marilyn Monroe. Thank you. Wine tasting. Yeah, that's a good one. I saw a female changing rusty pipes in a hood home and the men was all over her. She was changing the pipes. Okay. Well, hey, do what works. Um, a Dusty told me he will give me $1,000 when he get his... Apple-rhythms. Apple-rhythms, my little chocolate Easter bunny. My little chocolate Easter bunny. She said that a Dusty told her that he was going to give her $1,000 when he got his tax return. Would I take it? I mean, yeah. Oh, Father, along we know all about. Woo, y'all gonna make me start singing hymns. <laughs> Jesus, he will fix it. <laughs> Jesus, he will fix it. <laughs> Woo, this girl says she waiting on the tax return. It's about time for them questions to start coming. <laughs> Ooh, God. Mm. <laughs> yes, I'm going to take it. Heck yes. Heck yes, I'm going to take his money. I'm going to take the money from then to in between. Any money somebody give me. If you gave me $1,000, I'm going to take it. If anybody give me any money, I'm taking it. No, you cannot. Don't keep my change. Don't. That's another way to get in the receiving mode. Don't allow people to keep your change. I don't care if it's two pennies. Give me my money. I had to tell the lady in the uh, line the other day, get, can I get my money though? Don't ever turn down money at all. At all. Never. So once a man is only focused on your cleavage, how do you get them to have genuine interest? I don't care if he's genuinely interested. Miss Eve Farrar. I really don't care if he's interested in me genuinely because um, I want him to give me his money, genuinely. If he genuinely gives me his money, he doesn't have to be genuinely interested in me. Mm -mm. You can look at the Chi Chi's, that's why I bought them. You can look all day, I don't, you know, I don't care. Uh, maybe bar hopping could be a good date idea. I'm not really trying to eat on the first few dates. How is bar hopping on a date? Okay, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Yay. This video is about over. Um, This girl said maybe bar hopping is a good idea on a date. Where? 
Bar hopping where? No, no ma'am, no. Thank you, Foxy Lady. I'm Foxy Lady too. Um, do I think about woman bil what do I think about woman billionaires and millionaires? Nothing. What do you mean? I'm trying to be one. I want to be like them. That's what I think about them. Tell me your secrets. What did you do? You know. Yeah, I need to know all that. <laughs> me, 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 me. Jordan said I'm patient. Most people say I'm impatient. Okay, let's the him. Uh, may no, I'm just fine. Um, there you go. So do some. Oh, Bernicia, uh, deleted her. Uh, <laughs> deleted her question. Okay, so ten second recap. Um, working women, you don't have to work to get money. Um, stop wasting your life, your youth, your beauty, your pretty um, on a place in an edifice um, at a location that is not going to benefit you in the long run. Work on creating your life and planning your life so that it can be the life you actually want to lead instead of the one you're forced to lead because you're too lazy to take the steps to make yourself successful. Um, you don't have to uh, work to get the money. You can, there are any number of ways to get money and um, figure out what works best for you specifically and make that happen. Um, yeah, 10 second recap. So if you ladies are working right now and you don't want to work, stop. Figure out a way to stop. Figure out a way to stop working. If you don't want to work, if you no longer have the desire to work, stop working. Stop working. Um, is it a bad idea to tell a man you quit your job? It's a bad idea to tell a man anything. Stop being so... Just don't tell him nothing. Don't tell him nothing. Just tell him you got fired. <laughs> I wouldn't have sex with my boss and he fired me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I was trying to be faithful to you, baby, and he fired me because I wouldn't have sex with him in the break room. Ah! There you go. <laughs> Make sure you start crying real hard. Girl, go splash some water in your face in the bathroom before you come out. <laughs> there you go. These videos are helping me with my patience. Not really, because I'm cussing in my head. I'm just smiling through it, though. No. Um, okay, so that's the video. I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, this was only a little snippet of the Working Woman series because I will be continuing um, this series at the conference. The Working Woman series and the Nice Girl series will be... Um, featured at the conference. So, um, yes, ladies, get your tickets, get your tickets. Um, because I think it's really helpful, um, because I can speak from the perspective of a woman who was working a lot at one point, um, and who no longer is. So, um, yeah, I think it it's, would be really helpful, um, if we started a series like this. So, um, Am I gonna quit my live streams? For what? Why would I do that, Kat? Mm -mm. There's a million ways to talk about something. No ma'am, I wouldn't quit. Um, but yes, get, oh, and another point that I made early in the video is make sure that you get um, some ideas of women who are living the life that you want and emulate them, watch them, see where they go, see what they're doing, see who they are um, talking to, who they're friends with, where are they going, things like that. Um, to help you transition so that you have an idea of what you want to be. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. 374 people. I don't think we've ever had this many people watch me on live. So yay. 
Welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, don't forget to like. I only have 65, 66 likes to this video, and there's almost 400 people on here. Don't play with me, y'all. Um, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Yeah, 376. Good grief. And I only have... Oh, 75. Thank you guys for liking. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Just go watch all my videos tonight. Take your bath. Put your phone on the little thing. Ah, favorite one. Oh, Molly and Mindy. We got some money. Some more money. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, favorite one. Thank you. Um, but yeah, just go watch all of my videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Send them to your mama, your cousin, your auntie. Send them out. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, y'all. I almost have 10,000 subscribers. I am so, 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 so excited. So 2,000 more subscribers coming to a city near you. I'm gonna hang out, freestyle, talk, whatever. I'm gonna pick a random person and we're gonna make that happen. So let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for all your support. Um, I'm pretty sure Shira7 one is about to do a video so you guys go to her channel and tune in i'm pretty sure she's got something good going on if she's not over there playing in makeup uh thank you guys so much for watching i'm michaela pink and that's what i think bye